The federal government has announced its readiness to partner with African Special Economic Zone to benefit from AFCTA through intra-Africa collaboration. The President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, made this known at the seventh annual meeting of African Economic Zones Organization and fifth symposium on Special Economic Zone African Union Commission held in Abuja. The president, who was represented by the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Umana Umana, stated that Nigeria has the largest economic zone across Africa, saying the partnership will attract more investors into the Nigeria economy zone and free trade zones. We examine the factors inhibiting the growth of free zones in Africa and come up with appropriate measures to address any identified challenges. Africa must rise to the occasion and compete favorably with any special economic zones in the world. In Nigeria, the government has come up with policies to support private sector involvement in infrastructure projects, and some of our free zones have keyed into this. I am happy to note that the scheme has attracted a significant number of landmark infrastructure projects with sufficient potential to transform the Nigerian economy. The continent is looking for ways to increase our power as an industrialized trading bloc and to further inter-Africa collaboration. Nigeria's free zone scheme was first developed with the idea of utilizing the export processing zone scheme to promote export-oriented industries. Over the years, it has evolved into a more liberal scheme that allows greater interaction with the domestic economy and a growing number of incentives that soften the ground for potential investors. Also speaking, Secretary General, Africa Economic Zone Organization, Ahmed Beni stated that the organization has provided over 60 million jobs and more than $2.6 billion have been generated to boost the economy across the continent. This meeting could not be taking place at a more relevant time. As per the African Economic Zones Outlook, last year editions, there are 203 operational SEZ in Africa, and, 50, and 73 projects have been announced for, for completion in the 47 of the 54 countries of the continent. And over the past five years, 60 million jobs have been created in agro-processing, industrial fields, services, and more than 2.6 billion US dollars have been invested in the development of the SEZ projects across the continent. Kike Lomo Okewe, TV News, Abuja.